Hey guys, this is Abhijit Barai. I, in this video, I'm going to uh, show you an interesting case that I have seen um, just a few days ago. So it was a day shift and I was working in the emergency department when a 55 year old gentleman presented with central chest pain radiating to both arms, um, especially in the shoulders. It was dull aching in nature. He described it as um, tightness in the chest rather than a pain. It was mild in uh, uh, severity and it was intermittent. So it lasts for a few minutes and then it disappeared on its own. It was exertional, so any type of exertion was uh, aggravating the pain. Now this gentleman, he uh, did not have any past medical history. He did not go to the GP over several years. Um, so we do not know much about the background of this gentleman. He does not take any medications. He does not take any recreational drugs. However, he has got a history of um, smoking in the past. So from a cardiac uh, point of view, um, uh, that is what we found. He doesn't have any family history. Um, so when I examined him, I found him that he was he was fine. He was quite chatty. Um, he was pain free at that moment. He looked a bit anxious. Um, his airway was, was clear. He was um, talking in full sentences. His uh, breathing was fine. He has got equivalent on both sides. Saturation was a bit low, 93%. I don't know whether it is associated with his occupation or because of his ex-smoking history. His heart rate was 92, you know, but it's a bit only on the tachycardic side. It was regular. And the blood pressure was high. It was 188 over 134 millimeter of mercury. From this single reading, we cannot diagnose it as hypertension. So we repeated the blood pressure several times and we found that um, it was still a bit high. He was fully awake, alert, oriented. His temperature was 36.1 degrees centigrade. Abdomen was soft, non-tender, bowel sound was present. Now, as as, as conventional, the, in our hospital, we use the ADAC score with um, chest pain, especially if um, the gestalt states that uh, the patient may be of low risk. So <clears throat> he was 55 years of age, he was a male, and um, he, the pain did not uh, have any radiation to the arm, but there was some radiation to the shoulder, which was a bit controversial. Some Another colleague thought that there was no radiation talking to the patient. No diaphoresis. Um, so their adduct score was 12. The cutoff value for adduct score for a male patient is considered as 16. So it is because it was less than 16, we considered the patient to be of low risk. Now any chest pain patient, we do an ECG and uh, this is the first ECG that we have done. And if you carefully look at it, this ECG shows that uh, there was a bit of um, um, right axis deviation. Um, so, oh, sorry, left axis deviation, sinus rhythm, bit of bit tachycardic. Um, but uh, there is ischemic changes that I can see here. Um, so this is the first ECG. I would uh, like uh, to draw your attention particularly to the lead AVL. And if you carefully look at the second ECG, so in the AVL, you will see that there is uh, inversion of the T wave. So you've done further ECGs. Um, it did not show any ischemic changes in the inferior lids. And as you can recall, that if there is um, inversion of the T wave in AVL, there is a possibility of inferior MI. And some patients actually develop STEMI in lid uh, 2, 3, and AVF. We did several ECGs and we could not find any such changes. Now, what was important is that if you carefully um, look at the AVR, the, the R wave is greater than the S wave. So that is important. Um, the first ECG that we have done, <clears throat> that was 274. And this is the high sensitivity troponin. This is always very, very significant. And uh, when we did the second is, uh, troponin after three hours, that was uh, skyrocketing. So I have um, admitted the patient under, under the cardiology team and um, they have observed the patient uh, in their care. However, um, the patient was discharged with some uh, anti-abundancy medications. Um, this is the uh, decision by the cardiology team. They can decide which the patient is best fit for 
um, PCI or angiogram or something else. So this is not um, uh, our expertise in the emergency department to comment about that. So I will uh, I will stop there. Now let's um, discuss about um, one paper, which is a classic paper. Uh, it was published in 2013 in the Journal of American College of Cardiology. And this is on the validation of the high sensitivity troponin I in two hour diagnostic strategy to assess a 30 day outcome in the emergency department patients with possible acute coronary syndrome. Now, specifically, I would like to um, draw your attention to this table, table two. Now, as you can see that um, if we do only the ECG, then the um, sensitivity is not that great. Um, uh, so rule out criteria, that, that is not very high. Specificity, yes, uh, specificity is uh, quite good. When we uh, do the ECG and high sensitivity troponin, then both sensitivity and specificity, they are very much improved. In this particular study, we do, did not do the TIMI score, so it should not be appropriate to comment about that. But if you do the TIMI score, ECG and high sensitivity troponin, as you can see, the sensitivity is 100%. Uh, however, the rule in criteria, that is specificity, is very low. Um, so this is a particular reference. So in this particular paper, um, um, the authors have uh, described about the um, role of high sensitivity troponin and the validation. Um, now, this particular case that I have shown you, this is important in few aspects. So if you are in the community or urgent care center or in the GP practice, and if the patient comes with chest pain, and if the if you see the first ECG, um, there are um, possibility that you might actually miss. Um, the only reason we have done the ECG is because in our emergency department, there is some strict protocols about uh, the cardiac sounding chest pain that we do, do the troponin and the patient is usually a triage two. And um, fortunately, this is one of the type of patient where the ECG is absolutely normal, but the patient has got a very high, uh, high sensitivity troponin, which indicates that there is some myocardial injury. Um, fortunately, the patient came to us um, and we have um, done the tests. We have given the treatment, initial treatment like aspirin and uh, GTN and the patient was uh, looked after by the cardiology specialist doctors. And so the last time I saw his notes that he was doing well and he was discharged with some anti medications and aspirin. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye for now.